Hello everyone, welcome to the Planes on the Prairie podcast. I'm Max and today we are at the Fargo Air Museum taking a look at the General Atomics MQ-1B Predator. Um, this is a UAV or unmanned aerial vehicle that was used by the Fargo Air National or the North Dakota Air National Guard from 2007 up until 2013. Uh, today we're going to be taking you around this UAV that we have here at the Fargo Air Museum. Uh, we're going to be talking about its service history with both the Air Force and the Air National Guard. Um, also a little bit about its combat history um, from its inception in the 1990s up until uh, its retirement in two, uh, 2018. Um, so stick around, we have a really good episode for you. So the MQ-1 has a wingspan of 55 feet and it had two hard points on each wing. The most common weapon that was mounted on each hard point was an AGM-114 Hellfire air-to-ground missile. Uh, these missiles were used to track enemy vehicles, tanks, well maybe not so much tanks, but mostly vehicles that were driving in the desert. Um, next we're going to take you to the back and uh, go through the engine. So the MQ-1 is powered by a Rotax 914 um, piston engine. It has a max speed of about 135 miles per hour, um, has a service ceiling of about 25,000 feet, and has a loiter time of 24 hours. So in the event that there are combat troops on the ground that need support, um, this aircraft could be overhead for a, an entire day, um, providing intelligence, air cover, um, you name it basically for the guys on the ground. So next we're going to be talking about the operational history of um, MQ-1s in general and then uh, with the North Dakota Air National Guard. So the MQ-1Bs entered service with the United States Air Force in the mid to late 1990s. Uh, one of the first combat deployments they had was to the Balkans during the Balkan conflicts in the late 1990s. Um, this particular aircraft, the exact history from it is unknown. Um, it's a B model, so it was uh, later production. Um, this tail code that you have on the back is actually incorrect. This was a 08 model. Um, this is marked up as 09251, which was the first one to land at Fargo uh, when the Na North Dakota Air National Guard received MQ-1Bs following the departure of F-16s in 2007. Um, the North Dakota Air National Guard flew this, or this type of aircraft um, up until 2018 when all MQ-1s were retired and they were replaced by the MQ-9 drones. Um, they are still flying the MQ-9s today and uh, they're more involved now than they ever have been um, in the past. Uh, so yeah, uh, thank you guys very much for tuning into this video. Uh, we appreciate your guys' support. Um, if you are interested, we still have stickers available. Uh, please message either Sam or I and we'll be happy to get you acquainted with one. But uh, thank you guys so much for tuning into this one. We really appreciate it. And yeah, have a great rest of your day.